Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Why are the Texans all headed out to the Cowboy Stadium tonight? Let's find out next along with some club news. So let's step it up, coming up next on NHS TV. Today is the last day to join the Texan Step A Step team, so if you're interested, go to the pack after school. And if you have any questions, see Ms. Harden in room 627 or Ms. Nidra in room 300. In other club news, Circle of Friends is meeting today after school in room 906. They will be celebrating Thanksgiving and determining officers for this year. Also, the book club, me book club meeting has been moved to tomorrow at 8 a.m. It's time to get registered for the ASVAB test. If you're interested, please visit the counseling webpage. The test will be scheduled soon. It is also open to all 10th through 12th grade students. If you decided to sleep in, you missed out. At the pep rally this morning, Childress kicked us off and the crowd got pumped with the cheerleaders leading the way. The football players got fired up with the team ritual, the sidekicks performed, and two awards were given out. Carter James won the sidekick charity player contest, and Coach Patterson is the National Guard Dallas Cowboys coach of Week 6. Now here's your favorite principal on Chillin' with Childress. Hello Texans and welcome to another edition of Chillin' with Childress. With me today I have Gabby Nord and Yola Theus. They, they have been Texans uh, since last year that came over uh, after the Haiti earthquake and uh, they're going to tell us a little bit about Haiti and a little, about, a little bit about an opportunity that, that we have as Texans to, to continue to help out Haiti. Gabby, can you tell me a little bit about Haiti when you lived there? Well, before the earthquake, what happened, what happened is that um, None of us go to school, none of the kids go to school, and then so, and then there's the men, the leader of the orphanage, so everybody like lay down in bed, ne don't go to school, they're like, how come you're not going to school? And then we, some people say, because I don't have true shoes, and some kids, and um, because my uniform isn't washed, or some say, I don't, I haven't ironed my uniform, and then so, they started to like, he started to think the kids, even me, I get his think, I cried because I didn't have issues, I didn't go to school. And all this was before the earthquake? Before the earthquake, and then so the it, next day, which is the earthquake, mm -hmm. bef before we didn't go to school, because people didn't, we didn't have anything, and then we had to go to school because he make us go. And when, when we go, and the next day, right after school, you see, the things happen. And then so the earthquake. The earthquake happened. happened. And then so, uh, me, I was wondering what's going on. I wasn't afraid at first, but because it usually happened, but it happened quick and stopped. Mm -hmm. And then so, it kept going. I'm like, okay. And then I had, to, they make everybody go outside. And then since that earthquake, nobody can go like inside of any house. But when I go outside, there was lots of dust. And then people were like saying, there was lots of people die and lots of house fell down. I'm like, how? can happen, but some of the house are really not strong because it only breaks. So, so are they still, to this day, are they still needing stuff in Haiti? Yeah, yeah they too. need a lot. I want to I wanna talk to, to the Texans about a way that you can help with the Haiti, Haiti Outreach 2012. Now, your parents are traveling to Haiti soon, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. They're going to travel to Haiti. Um, you guys can help by donating things such as toothbrushes, toothpaste, soap, uh, small toy cars, jump ropes, harmonicas, yo-yos, different kinds of toys, t-shirts, anything like that. They don't want any kind of food because, uh, you know, it could be perishable when it, when it travels overseas to Haiti. 
you can drop these off at the east or west offices um, up until November 30th. So basically the week we come back from Thanksgiving is, is the time that you can bring that stuff and donate. When her parents uh, travel to Haiti, they will pick that stuff up, we'll get that to them, and they'll be able to take that to Haiti. Texans, I hope you, hope you take this opportunity to, to help out with the Haiti outreach. If you can bring anything, Ziploc baggie, you can drop it off at the east or west office, and uh, it'll certainly get to, to a good place. Um, the remainder of this week, today we're going to have um, the football game tonight, obviously, at Cowboy Stadium starting at 9 o'clock. But before that, we also have a basketball tournament, tournament happening here that I hope you can, you can take part in. One other thing, uh, about 4.30, 4.45, we're going to have a send-off for the football team uh, behind the locker room where their, where their buses will be parked. So I hope you can join us for that as well. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, Mr. Childress. Congratulations, Varsity Football, for making it to playoffs. The game is tonight at the Cowboy Stadium at 9 p.m. But before you head to the game, we will send the boys on to playoffs at 4.30 behind the locker room. Tickets are $8 for students and $10 for adults, and they are $12 at the gate. Also, if you have no ride but want to come out and support them, you can ride the Spirit Bus for only $10. You can see Ms. McCreary in the East office for tickets and permission slips. The bus will leave at 7.30. If you ride the bus to the game, you must ride the bus home from the game. Well, that's all for today's show. Tweet us your pictures from the game to show how all in you are. But before you leave, let's check up on Alan with the Tales of the Texan Gnome. He's not saying anything. He's just standing there. I'm just going to throw my axe at him anyways. Ha <laughs> ha! What? You can't even throw that at the door. Ah! Ah!